Hi, welcome back to another physics class with Domoj Math and Science. In this lesson, we'll see how to use the velocity time graph to find the acceleration, deceleration, and the total distance covered under motion. That said, let's get started. Our first example says that a train starts from rest and accelerates uniformly at the rate of 2 meters per second. Now let's do a sketch of the velocity time graph. Like the name is called, is a velocity time graph. That means I have velocity on the y axis and I have time on the x axis. While where both of them meet, let's call this our initial point and that we target zero. The train starts from rest. If this thing starts from rest, that means the velocity at time zero is zero. So it's starting from zero, zero. And accelerates uniformly at the rate, it accelerates uniformly at the rate of two meters per second square until it attains a maximum velocity in 20 seconds. That means at this point, let's tag this point as a maximum velocity, it would have done this in 20 seconds. Now, from 0 to 20, here is 20 seconds, and it has attained a maximum velocity. Let's call the maximum velocity V subscript M. And it did this with an acceleration, with an acceleration of 2 meters per second. Now, what noting is that for the velocity time graph, the velocity, the, the acceleration is the slope of the graph, while the area under this graph is the total distance covered. Now, this train attained the maximum velocity in 20 seconds. The question further states that it maintained this velocity for another 60 seconds. That is, it maintains this velocity for another 60 seconds. Between 20 and here, I should have done it for 60 seconds. That means here it would have done 80 seconds. And it now starts retarding. And then retards uniformly to rest after a further 20 seconds. That means it does the retardation in another 20 seconds. From 80 to here, I should have another 20 seconds. So that this point should be my 100 second. Now, you can see clearly that this train has attained this velocity, the maximum velocity, with an acceleration of 2 meters per second. That means if my acceleration, which is the slope of this curve, the slope is a change in velocity. That's a change in velocity. Let's denote change in velocity over the change in, in time, t. That is equals to Vm minus 0 over 20 minus 0. That is equal to the slope. That's the acceleration, which is 2 meters per second. So that means Vm over 20 is equal to 2. My Vm is equal to 2 times 20, which is equal to 40 meters per second. Now, if I have a slope of, that means I have my maximum Vm, the maximum velocity at this point is 40 meters per second. Now I'm to find the retardation. Here, this is where it experienced a retardation. For the retardation too, we'll be talking, that's a negative acceleration. We'll be talking of my final velocity is, my final velocity here is zero, and my final time is 100. The initial time is at 20, and the initial velocity here is at 40. So that the retardation, you see the same thing as delta V over delta T, which is equals to 100 minus, that's the final, that's sorry, the final velocity is zero. Sorry, that's zero. The final velocity is zero minus the initial velocity of 40, over the final time is 100 minus 80. So that is something as minus 40 over minus 20. 20, sorry, over 20, not minus 20. 20 here is 1, 20 here is 2. So that my retardation is minus 2 meters per second squared. Now we're going to look for, we're going to look for the area, the distance covered. Now, to solve for the distance covered, we'll be talking of, of the area under this trapezium. Now, for convenience, let's label this trapezium 
I'll call this, this is O. Let's call this O. This is A, B. Let's call this point C, D, and E. To solve for the area of this trapezium, I'll be talking of the area of this trapezium is equals to half into AB plus OE into the distance between both height. That's AC. You can pick either AC or you pick AB, ABD. So let's pick AC. It's both 40. So times A. AC. So that this area, which is the total distance covered, is the same thing as half into AB from the trapezium. AB is between 20 and 80. That's 60. And OE is 100. So that AB is 60 plus 100 into AC. That's 40. So that the area is the same thing as half into 160 times 40. That's equal to 80 times 40, which is the same thing as 3,200. So in, in meters, in meters. So we've been able to see how to find area, how to, how to find the total distance covered, and how to find acceleration, and also how to find deceleration. In our next lesson, we'll solve further questions to help us understand it better. Thank you, and see you in our next class.